So I said there were two main differences between strings and lists. The first we've seen already is that a list can hold anything we want, whereas a string, the elements could only be characters. The second big difference between lists and strings is that lists support mutation. Mutation sounds a little bit scary, and in some ways it is scary. It makes it much harder to understand what our programs mean, but it's also very powerful. What mutation means is we can change the value of a list after we've created it. So to explain what that means and to see why it's so different from the behavior we can get with strings, let's recap what happens with strings. So we can create a string, we can store it in a variable. We can change the value of the variable by creating a new string. So what's going on there is changing the value of s, but it's not changing the value of the string. When we did the first statement, this one, it created a string with the value hello, and it introduced a variable s, which referred to that string. When we execute the second statement, that creates a new string with the value yellow, and it changes s to refer to that new string. It hasn't changed the string that we created with the value hello. We just don't have a way to refer to that anymore. With strings, we can also use the plus operator to concatenate two strings. It looks like this is changing the value of the string. You might think that the result of this is, well, now the string that was previously yellow spelled wrong is now yellow spelled with the w added at the end. But that's not actually what happens. We don't actually modify the string we had. What happens when we use the plus operator, it creates a completely new string where the value of the new string is the result of concatenating the two input strings. So when we execute the third statement, first a new string with a value w is created. Then when we do the concatenation, it doesn't modify the previous string that we created. It creates a whole new string, which will have the value yellow spelled with a w. And then the assignment changes what s refers to, to refer to the new string. So now let's see what we can do with lists. 